Hey guys, lately my Bravo machine has been tripping the circuit breaker, which is caused by a short from a leak within the machine. You can see that happen right here as it enters the second infusion state. So this issue occurs on the infusion of the espresso, and I've been able to isolate the issue to a calcific buildup of this very high pressure plastic adapter, this elbow shaped piece you can see here. So to fix this issue, we have to disassemble the machine. Here I start by taking out the grinder and its pieces and I'm cleaning out the grinder, taking all the beans, anything excess that may be caught in there. Don't want it to fall into the machine itself as I open this machine later on. So the next step is to remove the reservoir completely. I'm showing you this after I've already removed the screws. So you would pop off the top, but if you wanted to access the screws, you access them through a hole on one side underneath the magnet on the left side and on the right side is a, another access point for that top cover. Um, you have to make sure you use the right screwdriver. Um, if you use a bit that is too thin, you risk stripping the screw head. So taking off the cover, um, you'll also see five screws on the top holding the back panel. And there's already corrosion from the leakage on the inside. And on the bottom of the reservoir hold, you see three uh, more screw holds that are held in by a some sort of cap that can be easily removed with a sharp knife. So here I am removing the cover and I'm just gonna collect some excess beans here that got fell through. Next, I'm gonna pop off the back. And access all the uh, components in, in the machine. It's actually quite wet here and I spend the next a little bit later wiping and clearing out that, uh, some of the moisture behind that. Um, I'm pointing here to the elbow piece that was implicated in the leakage that I showed earlier in the video. Um, it's difficult to access that piece. You have to first uh, remove this bracket that's holding the entire apparatus. Uh, once you get that loosened up, I've already removed one of the two screws earlier in the video. I'm going to recover that screw with a, this, this magnet um, grabber. Once I remove this, I use a 45 degree plier, uh, bent nose plier, to remove the clips that hold uh, the elbow adapter uh, on two sides. So once I got that loosened up, I'm going to remove the top pipe and this. You can see an O-ring there. There's an O-ring on both sides. Be sure that the O-ring is intact and keep track of that as you progress forward with the repair. So loosening this up now with the 45 degree bent nose plier. And finally I've accessed the machine. There's the other O-ring. I'm gonna put that aside. Now this uh, elbow adapter I was able to find on eBay uh, for 20 bucks. Um, it saved buying an entire machine for a thousand dollars. And I'm gonna show you in a moment where the how the corrosion compares between the old part and the new part. This is a piece that has been used for 10 years on this particular machine and has accumulated quite a bit of uh, a calcific buildup as well as corrosion and uh, total degradation. Um, and I'm gonna compare that in a moment here. Let's take it out of the bag. And uh, where my screwdriver is pointing, you can see where the crack began to form. Uh, the crack isn't where the plastic mold held the piece together, but is uh, a crack that occurred over time from the pressure. And uh, that's exactly where the leak, um, my expectation is where the leak came from. So um, putting in the new uh, high pressure sustaining elbow adapter here, first by starting by placing the O-rings, um, getting the uh, pipe securely fastened and I'm going to use the small clip for the top that uh, will hold that pipe in place. Put 
put the o-ring in there and um, just skipping ahead a little bit pushing that elbow bracket into place so here i use uh, first starting with a magnet uh, a screwdriver that's slightly too small just get that screw into place and then i'm going to switch over to the correctly sized uh, drill bit uh, a screwdriver bit and there I'm securing it in place doing it now on the second side and ensuring all pieces are fastened here I use a tissue just to uh, ensure there's no, no more leftover moisture and I'm going to start assembling the machine back together um, throw those screws on and there you go mm -hmm. 